Hello pilots, I'm back. After almost a year of making this series, the Thailand saga has come to an end. Today, we're going to talk about the very last tyrant, my personal favorite, the energy queen, the tyrant manager, Ion. Wow, I hate this! Oh, Ion, the very first tyrant we all got to try. Ion is the Swiss army of the game. She's decent at mid to long ranges, but can compete with specialized titans like Northstar or Legion. She's decent at close range, but can beat scores or running. She's the little of definition of just average, but that's not to be taken as a negative. This only shows how flexible Ion can be, and her effectiveness will totally depend on you, the player, and your playstyle. She has the ability to fill many roles. You just have to find what works for you and stick to it. But the lack of focus is what Ion can be difficult to master. And behind that seemingly low skill ceiling, there is what many will consider the most balanced and best Titan of the game. There is a lot to cover about this Titan, so let's begin. Let's take a look at Ion's kits and abilities and find out why people hate Ion. Ion is an Atlas class Titan, the Titan class that falls in between Ogre and Strider. Atlas Titans are great for players to get a taste of the Titan system before finding a style that works for them. These Titans have a balanced stat spread and don't favor speed or power quite as much as the other classes. Just to make sure I'm talking about the original ones, Ion and Tone, and not Monarch. She has the Atlas chassis, but she's technically not an Atlas, rather a Bunker class Titan. Ion is very special, she has great tools to fulfill many roles. This can be jarring and even overwhelming for many new and even experienced players, because it's hard to determine what this Titan is all about. This is not the case for other Titans. For example, Running is the Weeb, Scorch is the Thick Boy, Legion is the Walking Gun, Tony is Trash, etc. You get the point. But Ion can do a lot. You can be very defensive or aggressive, and her kits help you with the place that you decide to go for. Ion's primary weapon is the Splitter Rifle, an energy-based tickle machine. Stop that baby, stop tickling me, stop! With similar DPS to a water gun. Seriously, you need to ask your enemy to stay still and dump your entire mag to deal any significant damage. This weapon is the weakest Titan primary, and you need to constantly hit your target for them to even notice you. This weapon also has trouble distance and works better at mid-ranges. And this is what keeps Ion balanced, because her DPS does not come only from her primary. You need to combine your abilities correctly to make her work. You cannot depend on the Splitter Rifle because it has many downsides. But the Splitter Rifle damage can almost double when you ADS. And this is because Ion has a very interesting mechanic that makes Ion a very complex Titan. I like to call this energy management. Ion has a rechargeable energy bar. This bar controls all of Ion's abilities, except for her primary. This is my favorite part about Ion. Ion's defensive, offensive, and utility abilities are tied and controlled by this energy bar. Wanna use your shield? You need energy. Wanna use your tripwire? You need energy. Wanna use your laser shot? You need energy. Wanna take a crap? You need energy. You get the idea. Playing Ion is like being a politician. 10% of the energy budget will go to the tripwire and shield and 90% will go to the laser shot. But sir, we need more energy for the shield to defend ourselves. Ah ah ah, we need to laser shot every grunt and pilot we see. The Spitter Rifle can make use of this bar as well, by ADAC, and you can consume all of your energy to deal higher damage. You can do this to pressure or to finish off a weakened enemy. I personally don't recommend this because it basically leaves you with zero defensive abilities. Next, we have Tripwire. A trio of laser triggered explosive mines that will kill any infantry upon contact and damage significantly any Titan. The wires can be used to control space or deter any enemies from chasing you. They do take some time to activate after deployment, but the damage is high enough for the enemies to try avoiding them. And the wires will still explode after some time, and the explosion will still deal full damage. 
I personally love killing pilots with it and the explosion range is very deceiving. It is a simple ability that gets the job done. Next we have Vortex Shield, an energy based shield that has the ability to trap and deflect any projectile based ammo and also block energy based attacks. This is easily the best shield of the game. It allows you to both defend yourself and use your enemy's attacks against them. And depending on the Titan, you can deal a lot of damage if the enemy likes to shoot into your shield. <coughs> Legion. This shield is most effective with burst damage attacks like Monarch and Legion, but it's less effective with single shot weapons like North Stars, Tones, and Running's primary. And ironically, Ion's primary is neutral. The Vortex Shield will simply absorb and deny the energy damage. Of course, the Vortex Shield takes from your energy pool, so abusing this ability will leave you open to attacks and with very little offensive abilities, just like pretty much any ability Ion has. It is also important to know the Vortex Shield can be drained faster by certain enemy attacks, namely Monarch's Arc Round and most Titan Cores. Again, it's all about management, but this is the most important ability because it's just a great shield and it's something you should always reserve some energy for. I'm very aggressive with the Vortex Shield, and this is why I use the Vortex Amplifier Kit, but I do recognize Ion Kits are very good and I find use for all of them depending on the match. <laughs> and if you use Grand Cannon as your kit, sir, you, you are just, you are disgusting, okay? It, it never stops, oh my god. Next is the amazing ability, Laser Shot, the single ability that makes Ion a budget but better North Star. Laser Shot is just that, a hit scan laser shot. Crazy fast and accurate with decent damage. This ability is so much fun. It's great for poking and annoying titans and one shotting pilots and infantry. You can just get the high ground and play laser tag with the enemy. It is the most costly ability energy wise, but the damage is really worth it. This is an essential ability that allows you to check up on your enemies at mid ranges and increases Ion's DPS greatly and laser shot is Ion's introduction to the laser tag game because lastly we have laser core. Ion's evolved form of laser shot. Laser core is a huge beam of energy Ion emits from her core. This deals massive damage and you can aim it with ease. Laser core is basically Ion giving up on defense and going all out. Once the core is activated you cannot use any other ability. And of course, you can still take damage and be executed. I like this core, it's great for crowd control and finishing off enemies. And you can just fool around by killing ejecting pilots with it. Let's get that out of the way, haha, <laughs> very funny. It fits very well with the energy kit the Titan has. It's a pretty straightforward ability with great potential. Simple to use, but with some downsides to keep it balanced. Overall, Ion, in my opinion, always right by the way, is the best titan of the game. She's so versatile, it's really hard to deny she has something for all of us. She can fulfill many roles and work around her weaknesses. I love her gameplay, I'm always aware of my energy level, and I'm very good at managing my energy pool, and my first gen 100 titan as well. But even I have to admit, I hate being laser shot out of the sky or being poked by a sneaky ion. But what about you? Do you like or hate ion? What gen is it? And in your opinion, what's the best Titan of the game? Anyone that says running will be immediately banned. I I'm kidding. We are 2000 people right now. That's pretty awesome. So just, just go ahead and like and subscribe and, you know, do all of those, you know, YouTube things. Thank you very much. Take care, pilots.